everyone, welcome back. Right, pink, 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 a bright, possibly cool tone pink is a really lovely way to brighten the whites of your teeth and your eyes. It's such a great colour for any skin tone. It will always have that kind of brightening, healthy effect to your complexion. The trouble is, if you're using a pink and you want to use a cream, it never really lasts that long. Max Factor have got Colour Elixir Soft Matte um, or you can use any other liquid lipstick that you might have in your makeup bag as a blush. Now you know that I love to use um, products, um, liquid lipsticks especially, or lipsticks as blushes because it just works really well at kind of unifying your makeup. But one thing I hope that I've taught you all is just to kind of keep things a little bit more simple and be aware of the colours that you're putting on your face and not getting too many colours that clash. We're going to start off with a really lovely new product by Tinted, by, by Tinted Moisturiser, by Laura Mercier. This is the new oil-free tinted moisturiser, SPF 20 and it's non-greasy. If you don't like to have the look of makeup on your skin, whereas you don't want something too sheeny, you don't want something that kind of reads um, as makeup, this is just lovely. It really is so natural on application. Um, it's quite light, this colour for me. <laughs> it's really light. It's porcelain. This is the only shade I have, but I'm going to blend it in. I'm a little bit, well, I'm not as brown as I was, but um, we can work with that with a little bit of bronzer. And I'm starting underneath my eyes and over my eyelids because this is the area that I want to take down any redness or uneven skin tone in my face. Because the downside of wearing a pink is that it does pick up any imperfection. So if you're suffering with acne or rosacea or just sort of general high colouring, pink isn't a shade that I would necessarily opt for. So I would tell you to go and choose a much more neutral colour so that when you do get more redness in your skin or when the makeup wears off, the colour that you've put on your cheek helps to neutralise that redness. That's why kind of a neutral um, sort of caramel colour or kind of like a soft apricot is much more flattering on the skin. Now you can see how sort of well that's blended in to my skin actually, even though it's probably a couple of shades too light for me. Um, but for the purposes of me trying it out, I don't always have every single shade that matches my face. I think this works really well. And that just shows you how sheer it is. So if you have sort of freckly skin or you've got a skin that just you feel for your style, it doesn't really, um, you don't feel that you look as great with makeup on your skin or you don't like the feel of it, the look of it, the texture of it. Um, this is gonna be a great option for you because hopefully as you can see, it's just kind of really cleaned my skin beautifully. And what I mean by that, cleaned my skin, I'm just going to use Katie's brushes now because it's nice and soft. Um, I mean, it's polished my skin and taken out any uneven pigmentation, but it doesn't sit on my skin like a sort of medium to heavy coverage foundation might sit. Um, and it looks obvious. Oh, I've got a fine hair in my face there. So yeah, so as I said, for people who don't really like too much makeup, this is perfect. Let's go straight in with the blush. Um, and I'm going to use it in two ways. Um, I'm going to use it on my cheeks. I seem to have a, a habit at the moment of having these lovely wands um, to apply creamy products, like the Glossier Bronze. And I'm placing it sort of just literally, oh, that's annoying. That's the doorbell. <laughs> One second. One of my favorite delivery guys, actually. I was like, don't laugh. He went, oh, you look lovely, darling. I was like, come on now. Right, so put the color on. I probably left it on a little bit too long before I blend it. Um, this is hilarious. Well, you've got to go with what life throws at you, right? What I'm trying to do is I blend this color out, making sure that it doesn't spread too much over my face, as in I don't want it to go too high under my cheeks. It's really got to sit just over the apples of my cheeks and just slightly graduating up the side of my face. Now, as you can see that it sort of settled in my pores there slightly, but don't worry. You just take a brush and you can blend that round. I'm going to take my lovely foundation brush, Clay de Poe, and just soften those edges. And then with the end of the brush, just really buff it in. Now that looked obviously really like child's play when I first did it, but you can see how soft 
it looks afterwards. So you don't need to be scared. The pigment really does buff down. In fact, I could put just a little bit more on there. I was a bit, bit nervous. And obviously doing things on this film, I um, or doing things live on camera like this, I sort of end up sort of rushing things to sort of make it quicker and so you don't get bored. But actually I didn't really need to. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. So when you're using these hot pink colors, you wanna place them directly underneath your pupil um, and then avoid taking it under this eye area here. So you want to keep that nice and light. So um, that keeps your, um, it really helps to enhance your face shape because you're keeping it nice and light underneath there, especially if you've just put loads of um, concealer under your eyes. You don't want to then blend that in with um, any blush. So lovely, really, really nice. And then similarly, on the cheeks. And I just love the fact that you, sorry, these are my lips, not my cheeks. I'm out of practice, guys. I really am out of practice. And look, you can see, so quickly already, how that just brightens everything. My eyes look so much brighter. Now I'm doing this really roughly on my lips because I want it to be like a stain because this color obviously would look amazing. But I'm not feeling strong mouth tonight, today. Today, tonight, who am I? Where am I? God knows. Um, oh yes, that's nice. So I'm just gonna, do you know what I might do actually? Just to really help shape my Cupid's bow, I'm just gonna go in very lightly with the sponge, just on that bit there where I do need a little bit of shape, you know? Those of you blessed with beautiful big lips won't know. Um, and then I'm going to feather that out because I just don't feel like that. And you can see now when I've got the colour on my cheeks and my lips, you, your eyes disappear. Um, so then we go back to my eyes and pull those out, but it's a really nice sort of soft. There you are, that's giving my lips more shape, but then keeping them soft at the same time. So rub it in and then just smooth it out so you don't get any separation of colour. It's not meant to be perfect. Luckily, <laughs> uh, this look is not meant to be perfect. It's just a really kind of natural stain. But that colour, it looks also lovely against a grey, you know, like a nice big grey polar neck or something like that. Those kind of shades, it's really, really complimentary. And again, you can feel me rubbing, not feel me, you can see me rubbing. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm being a rubbish presenter today. I do apologise, I don't know why. <laughs> Going in with my brows, let's move on swiftly, Caroline. Um, I'm loving the Charlotte Tilbury one, as I said previously on one of my films. Um, just do the little line underneath, get a nice strong edge on that brow, and then soften it a little bit, and then turn it round and use the side, the thick part of it. And because it's thicker, obviously it deposits more colour. And then right at the tail, I flip it round again. So I kind of get that nice thickness and then thinness. So you might have a similar brow product like this that's angled and slightly thicker, but um, you might not think, oh, that's why, that's why it's shaped like that. That's how it can help me. Annoyingly, my eyes are going. I had my eyes lasered 10 years ago for distance. It's the best thing I ever did. Um, I'm just not good with glasses and things on my face and oh, it's just really annoying. And they said literally yeah, after 10 years, then you'll have to wear glasses, literally one day after the 10 year anniversary. Um, but now it's going both ways. I'm thinking, oh, can I actually see what I'm doing? I can't do makeup. That'll be the end of the YouTube channel then, won't it? When I've got my glasses, if I can't see what I'm doing, that would just be literally ridiculous. Oh well, there we are. I'll carry on until I can't see no more. Right, and I'll just soften that with the brow groomer so that doesn't look heavy. Right, um, gosh we've got quite a lot of Max Factor today, well we've got two products. Um, I told you about the all day eyeshadows, the iFinity, this is called Lovely Rose. Again this channel is all about quick effortless makeup that just looks really stylish and modern. Well that's what I'm aiming for anyway, <laughs> maybe I don't get that all the time. <laughs> so boring doing my own face all the time, literally I'm so pleased I'm back to work painting other people's faces. Anyway, these kind of shadows are fantastic because you can literally, like I did with the gold one, just paint it all over your lid and it creates this lovely kind of metallic um, hue over my lid, but it's not too much. I've had so many compliments about this shade. 
um, and I just simply wear it like that with a bit of mascara on top um, and it's just I don't know it's just I think when you kind of come out of summer into autumn it's lovely to use sort of different kind of colours and you know put the, the browns and the golds away for a while and just sort of using sort of a few more greens and pinks and sort of aubergine colours I just think that's quite nice just to change it up a little bit and then obviously when you go into sort of November December you can go more charcoaly and then you know it's just nice isn't it um, and like I said before what I love about this is that it doesn't sting it goes on the eye and if you've got eyes that tend to crease a lot or are very oily you're going to love this because it just dries and it stays put and it doesn't another thing I think because I've got quite baggy eyes um, if I use a cream product, so if I use the Charlotte Tilbury eye pencil sticks, they sort of like stick my eyelids together sometimes. I'm like, oh, as it dries, it, it tightens the skin and, and this doesn't do that. Yay, that's good. Um, right, caution, my favorite mascaras because I don't want my mascara to be too light because my lips are sort of stronger. So I'm gonna go just at the top um, and pull my lashes up. But for a quick, thick, sexy, full-on lash, then this is my go-to. Um, and also, it doesn't budge. I mean, to be honest, you know, all the mascaras that I use are pretty good because I'll only ever recommend mascaras that I wouldn't ever use on myself or on other people. I get sent a lot of stuff that um, you don't even see the light of day off because obviously it doesn't, doesn't tick all the boxes of what I would recommend that you spend your money on. Um, I love this brush, I love this formula. And I just love that sort of just soft pinky hue because it's sort of slightly neutral, isn't it? It's not too sort of candy pink or dolly pink and you wouldn't want that against this sort of like very soft lip. Nice, isn't it? I mean, I'm sort of just talking about the makeup, not looking at myself going, oh, nice. That would be a bit weird. Um, great. Good. Well, that was super quick. Really nice. I'm poor. I still haven't used my brushes yet. Right, next video, I'm going to be using lots of brushes and brushes only, but I just love how clean they are. It's a bit like one of those, um, when you get a lovely compact, that's got a beautiful molding of a flower or a tiger or something like that. You don't use it, which obviously is silly. Oh, my one last touch. I wanted to use the Chanel Balm, which is the clear balm. Um, this, as you can see, has given a really lovely natural sheen to my skin, but just for a bit of an extra sheen just there that doesn't have any glitter, sparkle, colour. It's just basically sort of, you know, like putting a pure gloss just over your cheekbone. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this all over my face. I just like it around this area. Um, and especially if my skin's feeling a little bit more parched in this area, it's quite nice if you've got lots of fine lines around this area here. You can see that it doesn't really enhance them. It just sort of almost creates a nice glow over the top so they look um, softer. Great, so there we go. A nice fresh pink is a great colour to add to your makeup kit. Um, brightens the whites of your eyes and teeth, really easy to do. And uh, yeah, I hope you like the look and uh, as usual, look forward to speaking to you below. Bye for now.